To run Linux Ubuntu on Windows 10, you basically have two options. The first one is as a Windows Linux subsystem. The second one is as a VM on Hyper-V or other. To run as a Windows Linux subsystem, first enable Windows subsystem for Linux. To enable Windows subsystem for Linux, in the search box type PowerShell, right click Windows PowerShell and click run as administrator. In PowerShell type, enable Windows optional feature, minus online, minus feature, Microsoft Windows subsystem Linux, then hit enter. Type yes and hit enter to restart your PC. When the PC restarts, it finishes the configuration. Log back on and go to Microsoft Store. In the search box, type store and select Microsoft Store. In Microsoft Store's search box, type Ubuntu and hit Enter. Then click on Ubuntu. A note about the limitations. The limitation is that it is mainly for the terminal and command line utilities without a GUI. So these are basically the limitations of running Ubuntu within a Windows Linux subsystem. Although there's a way to work around it by installing an external emulator and redirecting the screen output, but the GUI will not function properly. So click Get and wait for the installation to finish. The time it takes depends mostly on your internet connection speed. Mine took around 15 minutes. I'm accelerating the video so not to wait for it. Once the installation finishes, click Launch. You can also launch it by typing Ubuntu in the search box followed by Enter. On first launch, it will take a few minutes to initialize, also accelerating the video here. At this stage, you need to create a username and a password. I'm creating a username called KST for knowledge sharing tech here and password, any password you like. Also, I'm checking here the version of Ubuntu by using the command cat slash etc slash OS release. And as you see, it's 18.04.2 LTS. To run an Ubuntu and bash sessions, go to the search box and type Ubuntu followed by enter. And for bash, also type bash followed by enter. So this was it to run a Linux subsystem under Windows. Now to run Linux in a VM in Hyper-V, first you need to enable Hyper-V, then run Hyper-V Manager, choose Quick Create, which is the fastest option to create an Ubuntu VM, and then choose Ubuntu. Note that Hyper-V is only available in Windows 10 Enterprise, Pro, and Education. To enable Hyper-V, open PowerShell with admin rights and type Enable Windows Optional Feature, minus online, minus feature, Microsoft Hyper-V, minus all. Here I already installed Hyper-V, so it will not prompt me to restart. But if you didn't have Hyper-V, it will prompt you to restart. So. In this case, you press yes and enter and it will restart. I'm exiting PowerShell here. And then I'm running Hyper-V. Now that Hyper-V is enabled, in the search box type Hyper and click on Hyper-V Manager. Click Quick Create, choose the version of Ubuntu you want and click Create Virtual Machine. So this is basically a wizard from Microsoft to facilitate the creation of an Ubuntu VM.
Hyper-V starts downloading Ubuntu. The installation takes many minutes to finish, so I am accelerating the video. As you see, it's around 1.6 gigabytes. The process downloads, verifies, extracts, and creates the Ubuntu VM. Here it's verifying, extracting, and then creating the VM. Once the machine is created, click Connect, then click on Start. So Ubuntu starts at this stage. On first launch, it prompts to choose the basic parameters. Choose the ones that match your needs. Here I'm choosing English US and the time zone that matches my time zone, which is Toronto. Then type in your name. It will populate automatically the computer name. So continue the initial setup by creating a user and a password. Pick a username and create a password. This username has nothing to do with Windows username. It takes a minute for the Bionic Beaver to finish the initial configuration. It's working hard, as you see. I'm accelerating the video once again here. Once finished, click on Connect, put your user and password created earlier, and click OK. Ubuntu starts and it is connecting to the internet as you see. I'm trying Firefox here to see if the internet connection is working, and it's working. So I have an Ubuntu virtual machine within Windows 10. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching.